What's up lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube, I'm the Malt Activist and today we have with us our first fish oil bottling. This one comes from Kilhoman. This of course I'm talking about the Kilhoman Festival release of 2023. Hmm, is there a bottle? Of course there is, but it's this cute little bottle. What's up and before I begin, just a big shout out to my first time viewers. Thank you for clicking through to this channel. That means you like whiskey and if whiskey is your thing, then this channel is the one for you. We do whiskey lists, we do whiskey reviews, we do whiskey rants, discussions, whiskey vlogs, and everything else in between. So if the sound of that sounds cool, if the sound of that sounds cool, if that sounds cool, then just subscribe or like or share. I promise you it's not going to cost you anything. To my returning viewers, thank you for sticking around. It's highly appreciated. And of course, to my YouTube members and my Patreon gang, you guys are the wind beneath my wings. Thank you. Alrighty then, on to the whiskey at hand now. So, a bit of sad news, and the sad news is that I am not going on my annual pilgrimage to Isla this year for the Whiskey Festival. Uh, I'm so disappointed, but, uh, you know, there's a lot going on where I am. There's, I mean, work-wise, there's a lot of ha stuff happening, and it just... Ah, this can't seem to make the time so this year I'm going to have to give it a pass but that does not mean that we're not going to be tasting um, uh, the festival releases on this channel I will make sure I procure them and uh, we review them on this uh, on this channel okay so that's my phone I should always keep my phone switched off basic rule number one all right sorry so um, for the first one the first one that we have is let me show you is this let me oh, so stupid I should have done this before this is the oh I'm 100% I broke broke stuff inside so this is the Kilomen tasting pack which I managed to get my hands on um, I'm pretty sure I'm breaking stuff inside hopefully not so this one came with uh, five different whiskeys of course it came with the uh, fish I release 2023 okay there you have that uh, we also have the 2023 uh, Loch Gorm very excited about this uh, we have a cognac cask matured 2023 edition this one is at 50% ABV. The Loch Gorm, of course, is at 46%. We also have a... Oh, this is the Fino Sherry Cask Mature. Let's see if you can focus in on that. Cute little bottles, huh? And this one is bottled at 50% also. And finally, we have this. This is the Kilhoman Club 9th edition. This is the Unpeated Oloroso Sherry. This one is an 8-year-old and bottled at 56.2% ABV. There you go. So that's what came in the set. Um, of course, uh, along with the festival release, which we have here. Now, the festival release, what do we know about this? Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, about it very very quickly so uh, this is a vatting of three casks um, two bourbon one sherry okay one sherry butt and two bourbon barrels this is what it says on the Kiloman website the face 2023 release is a vatting of three casks distilled from publican barley so the name of the barley is publican. It's grown, malted, and distilled at Kilhoman. So 100% um, uh, Isla, Isla whiskey, 100% Isla whiskey. So the barley is grown, uh, you know the thing. And distilled at Kilhoman in 2011 and 2012. So two different vintages here. Um, two different vintages here and uh, vatted together so two bourbon barrels one sherry hogshead so i you know i'm guessing average i mean there's a 10 year old whiskey in here and i think an 11 year old whiskey in here roughly roughly um it would have been nice to just be like hey this isn't uh, whatever I, I, I like a statements but at least kilomen are quite transparent about uh, their vintages so you know all you have to do is a little bit of math and i think that's not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Okay, so we have um, 
two uh, two uh, vintages in here 2011 and 2012 i'm not sure which one is which which one is the sherry which one is the bourbon uh, that that they haven't said but i don't think it matters so two bourbon barrels and two uh, and one sherry butt which means probably the percentage of bourbon uh, matured spirit and sherry matured spirit is roughly the same because the barrel will be about 225 to whatever roughly and the butt will be about 500 and so i think it's an equal portion so i think this is almost like a 50 50 mix of bourbon and sherry and bottled at a lovely 55.3 percent natural cost strength so we will of course in honor of Kilhoman be using their little their wee their wee Glencairn with their logo on it I don't know if you can see it and yeah so I mean before we get to the tasting you can you can always skip ahead uh, all my videos are timestamped so at any point if you like skipping through just feel free um, the thing with Kilhoman and and I've said this many times on the channel is I had a rocky start, um, Anthony Wills had come down and we had done a tasting and I wasn't really happy with the stuff that he had. This is back in 2012 or 13, so this is more than 10 years ago. And you know, he had some three-year-old, four-year-old whiskeys uh, that he brought with him, which were kind of okay at that time, I didn't think they were anything great. And I was like, ah, Kelom is not that good a distillery, I'll wait and see what they, what they end up doing. And then maybe a couple of years after that, I had a single cask at a friend of mine at his place and it was stunning it was a five-year-old single cask uh, matured in uh, bourbon barrels and it was just absolutely stunning and i was like holy shit i made a huge mistake this stuff is sublime and it is and every year that we've been to kilhoman the kilhoman festival release has always been at least in the in the top three it has never 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 disappointed us it's been consistently fantastic and I believe this year is also no exception. So, you know, um, I'm a huge fan of uh, Kilhoman. I'm a huge fan of Anthony Wills and what he's done. Uh, I love the way uh, him and his sons uh, run the distillery. It's, um, it's very welcoming, good people there. I think they do some solid work and I think their cask selection is second to none. Just pristine wood. Uh, woodwork happening there at the distillery because everything that comes out of out of Kilhoman is just that quality is mwah, sublime uh, including that distillate whoa that strong distillate that ah, is amazing I absolutely love it so kudos to Kilhoman for always uh, you know uh, for always uh, coming up with the goods and doing a fantastic job with it so well done all right so Shall we taste? Shall we taste this little whiskey, please? Alrighty then, so I've poured myself a dram of the Kilhoman Festival release 2023. Like I said, two bourbon barrels and a sherry barrel in here. This one is bottled at, sorry. This one's bottled at 55.3% ABV. I believe I mentioned that already. Let me, let me just cap this or else I will 100% drop it somewhere. Okay, now I have tried this and I gotta tell you man, I gotta tell you, I was taken by massive surprise because, whoa, this is probably the most, the most heavily charred Kilhoman I've ever had the pleasure of nosing. It's just so strong that that char. It's like it's like completely burnt, almost completely burnt. And normally you get a good balance uh, from the char and the sootiness uh, and the sweetness with the fruits and the vanillas. That is, uh, you know, a, a common uh, Kilhoman characteristic. But this, oh. This is just shoot you in the face char. This is one of the smokiest, charriest whiskeys I've ever known. So, um, uh, on the nose, I get uh, lots of char, soot, burnt ends. Uh, it's almost like n putting a nose in, a, in an ashtray. I know that sounds gross, but in a good way. Uh, there's lots of citrus, lemon, lime, vanilla, and that butterscotch in the end. Uh, 
some red berries in there as well, but I feel like the the bourbon side of the spirit is a little more forward. Uh, but again, everything is like super masked and enveloped with that char. And I don't know if this is peated at a higher PPM. Normally, Kilomans are at about 40, 50 PPM. I don't know if this is charred higher. Otherwise, I think they would have told us if it was. But for some reason, for some reason, this is super, super charred. Again, in a good way, in a good way, not in a bad way. I like the nose. Um, I know people, for example, who don't like the smell of peat and smoke in their whiskeys. You are going to absolutely hate it. If you if you know this, you're absolutely going to hate it. But for those of you who like it, like me, then you will like this nose. And you know, once again, I have I have emotions attached to this flavor profile, to this smell, which is you know my time in Isla. So. Like I said, I carry 20% emotional baggage every time I know something that reminds me of that place. So, you know, take my opinions with a grain of salt. Or a, or a, or a, or a, or a slab of peat. How about that? So yes, good nose. Very, very heavily charred. I don't find anything wrong with it, except that it's so charred that I wasn't expecting it. And it's becoming even more so as time wears on. I've had this in the glass for about, I wanna say about 15 minutes. So interesting, I like it. I like the nose, it's, um, it's not for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's drink. Ah. Woo. <laughs> let's go baby. Damn son. Okay. Again, so suit forward, char, that ash again. Even the fruit, the pineapple is grilled. It's like super grilled. It's like charred pineapple or grilled pineapple. I get the lemon, lime and vanilla back again. But again, what overpowers this whole thing for me, again in a good way, and I like this style of whiskey, is that sootiness and this charriness that for some reason, is found so strongly in this particular Kilhoman. I'm not sure if this, you know, if this, uh, if this was by design or it just so happened that the amalgamation of these different spirits uh, produced this kind of flavor profile. Um, I'm not sure, but I gotta say, it works. I can just imagine drinking th this on a cold, slightly windy day um, at Kilhoman, sitting outside uh, with the smell of um, venison burgers being cooked on the grill right next to you, uh, maybe drinking some drinking some ale, drinking some of this fine whiskey, and it kind of reminds me of that. So, you know, uh, I like it, I like it. I, but, you know, like I said, it's not for the faint of heart, for sure not for the faint of heart. Because, like I said, if you don't like your smoke and peat, you are going to hate this. But if you do, mm, you're gonna like it. So, what do I know about the price? I, I believe it's available at the distillery for about 115 pounds. Is that expensive? Is that cheap? I think, you know, I'm going to stop giving my opinion regarding that. I mean, it is what it is. It's 115 pounds. For some, it's cheap, and for some, it's not. So, it is what it is. But, bear in mind, I mean, there's... 11, 10 year old whiskeys in here. It's a festival release, it's a limited run, so uh, I don't know. But yeah, do I like it? I do, I really do. So, what do I think? I think this is um, another good whiskey. Uh, I think uh, Kilomen once again uh, have proven to me that they know exactly what they're doing and that they're doing a absolute damn fine job of it. They know exactly what their customers like and I look forward to the Kilomen uh, festival release every year because I know they're going to hit it out of the park and once again, yeah, they've uh, proven me right. They've done it uh, and I think this is a fantastic dram. Fantastic dram. Uh, let's give it Let's give it uh, an 8.0 A minus. 
How about that? I think that is a well above average whiskey, which in my opinion this is. It ticks off all the boxes in terms of its strength, in terms of its flavor profile. These are kind of the flavors that I personally like. Um, that distillate is just super, super clean. It latches onto those flavors beautifully. I love everything about it. Um, don't have anything wrong. Don't have anything bad to say about it, to be honest. Uh, I can't wait to try all these different cute bottles that I have. Hold on. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so we have the Lockhorn, the Cognac cast. Ooh, I don't know if I can show this. So I'm gonna do a video with maybe we'll do all four three. I don't know if you can see anything. This is such bad production. Sorry. <laughs> but maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a video of all four uh, Kilhomans. Uh, the 2023 edition uh, tasting video, which I think should be fun. Maybe I'll do that in a couple of days. Uh, but in the meantime, um, here I go. The 2023 uh, Fish Isle bottle of, uh, from Kilomen, which is uh, wonderfully constructed, bottled at 55.3%, has two vintages in there, 2011 and 12. And uh, from barley grown, uh, in, in Kilhoman on a Rockford farm, farm is it called? Rockport or Rockford? I'm not sure. Yeah, but amazing. So, uh, if you're down there in Isla uh, without me, then uh, please, please go down to the distillery and maybe get yourself a bottle, man. And it's only one one per head, one bottle per person. That's, that's all you're going to get. So please, um, if you're there in Isla, go down there and tell everyone I said hi, and I'm really sorry that I didn't make it this year, and uh, maybe they'll know who I am. Okay, so cool. I like this whiskey. Uh, I think you should buy it uh, if you get the chance, uh, if you like these kind of flavor profiles, if you're a big fan of Kilohoman like I am. And uh, yes, everything else is good in the world. I'm, uh, I'm a happy camper. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep my spirits up, knowing fully well that the, um, that the festival starts in about a week's time and I am not going to be there, but that's okay. Stuff happens, stuff happens. Okay, cool. So like I said, there's no good way to end a video. So I'm going to end it up right here. Um, I'm the Malt Activist. Until next time, peace.